little bit of practice. Let's, let's take a look at our definitions at the top and then we will practice determining whether these, these reactions would like to go forward or reverse. So given the following statements, determine if equilibrium expression is equal to one, less than one, or greater than one. <clears throat> the equilibrium concentration of products is much greater than that of the reactants. Well, if products is greater than reactants in a ratio, that must mean that K is greater than one. The second question asks, the equilibrium concentration of products is much less than that of reactants. Well, if we've got more reactants and there's a larger number in our denominator, then our equilibrium expression is less than one. If there's about the same amount of both reactant and products, then we can say that K is about equal to one. Let's do a couple of these problems together and then you can take a moment and do them, do the rest of them on your own. Let's do A, a and B together. Here we have the reaction between hydrogen iodide to form hydrogen and iodine gas. The K equilibrium, this value is it greater than or greater than, equal to, or less than one. It's less than one, so that means that our reverse reaction is favored. And what does that mean? That means that there's more reactant. So the concentration of reactants is greater than the concentration of products. All right, B, we have iodine chloride forming iodine and chlorine gas. Our K equilibrium is 10, it's greater than one. So our forward reaction is favored, and what that means is I have greater concentration of products versus reactants. You can pause the video, practice the rest of the C through E on your own, and I'll come back and give you the answers. Letter C, we have two moles of nitrogen dioxide forming one mole of dinitrogen tetraoxide. Notice that the equilibrium is greater than 1, 2.2, so we have a forward reaction. Once again, with the forward reaction, our products are favored over our reactants. For D, we have copper ion, copper 2 ion plus silver solid produces copper solid in two silver ions. Notice our equilibrium is less than one, so the reverse reaction is favored. We have more reactants than products in our reaction vessel. Next we have lead ion plus two chloride ions gives us lead chloride. Our equilibrium constant is greater than one. And so that means our reaction would rather go forward. Our last two problems ask which equilibrium favors the products or the reactants to the greatest extent. So let's take a look at the first one. Which one favors the products to the greatest extent? Well, we look at the value of our equilibrium expression. The larger the equilibrium expression value, the more likely the reaction is going to go forward and you will have more product in, so if we're comparing two chemical reactions and we have, we're looking at the difference between all of these values that are greater than one, then the one with the highest K equilibrium means that at equilibrium, there's always gonna be a greater concentration of products in that reaction compared to the next. So, which one of these reactions is going to favor products to the greatest extent? Sure. E, which one of them favors the reactants to the greatest extent? Right, D, being 
meaning that this number is so small that it means in this reaction vessel, there's almost no product. There's generally only reactant in this um, reaction vessel.